This is Dr. Bill Blatchford, and I would like to just share with you some of the things about our Platinum Coaching Program. You know, we get a lot of questions about, well, what is this program that 3,000 dentists have done over the last 30 years, and how will it help me? Well, let me tell you about this program. First off, I designed this program over 30 years ago, but I have to say it's been reinvented several times, and part of it is due to changing economics, changing situations in the world, all this sort of thing, and how we learn. And so a lot of things have been tweaked and changed over the years, but I believe that we probably get the best results of any coaching program out there in our industry. Now, there are programs that cost more, there are programs that cost less. I think ours is the best program and you know, when we set out to start this program, we did something very interesting. You know, we have our doctors come up with a purpose for their business. Well, the purpose of our business is to be the best dental coaching program bar none. Now, we came up with a very interesting criteria for determining that. And it was not based on how big the company will get or anything about that. It's based on the results our clients get. Now, what kind of results do our clients get? Well, we look at not just how to grow the practice. It's not all about new patients. It's not about how big we can make this thing. It's how can my practice support this life that I have. All right, so one of the things I'd like to point out, this program is not just about making the train go faster. It's not about putting a bigger engine in the race car. Everybody just goes around the track faster. Here's an interesting thing in dentistry. If I were to ask 100 dentists what their biggest issue in their practice is currently, 99 would say, I need more new patients. And while that's probably true that we really, really live and die on new patients, the interesting thing is that we spend a lot of time with our clients how to maximize the new clients they get. You see, one of the things is, is does your team, right now, a question to ask, is my team fully prepared to really take care of these new patients? In other words, do they know the right questions to ask to help that patient see the value of dentistry. You see, dentistry is a discretionary item. Nobody needs dentistry. Nobody even needs their teeth. Now, you and I think that teeth are important, but the patients would rather spend it on big screen TVs and trips to the Bahamas and new boats and new cars and all kinds of things. And is your team trained well enough to maximize the value of that new patient? You know, we've had many people come into this program that have had more new patients than they can handle. And once we work with them, they start to realize this and they actually start to figure out, okay, which new patients do I want? So it's not just more new patients, but we will also show you how to get more new patients into your office. But after we teach your team how to deal with those patients, we're going to show you how to maximize the value of every new patient. But we're going to show you how to do this with complete integrity to your ethics and your values. So we've broken our program into several sections. The first where you meet with us, generally face to face, but and that's with me. However, my team is dragging me, kicking and screaming into the 21st century, and we now do a lot of these by web. We do them by internet, and they work just fine. As a matter of fact, it saves a lot of time for you and a lot of time for me, and that we don't have to travel. You don't have to travel to Oregon or wherever I happen to be, and it works really well. So we start with that summit, but here's where we start. We start with your lifestyle. Now we sit down with your spouse or partner and what we do is we determine from you. We don't have any clue, we don't have any idea how you want your life to be, but we have some really, really good questions to get you to think about it. So how do you want your life to be, say, 10 years from now, 20 years from now? And one of my questions always is, let's pretend that we're sitting here 20 years from today and we're looking back Share with me some highlights. Share with me some highlights. Tell me what you've imagined your life is going to take place. It's a fantastic question. You know, the response I get most of the time is, gosh, golly, Bill, I've never thought about that. I just thought it would be more of the same and I'll just keep going and, you know, in 10 or 20 years, I'll have enough money to retire and I'll sell my practice. And, and then my next question is, then what? Sail off into the sunset? But we asked that question, 20 years out, where do you want to be? So we get you thinking about that, and then we design a business to support that. Maybe it's 
working more, maybe it's working less. Interesting thing is, most of our clients work a lot less. You know, most of them cut out several weeks a year and cut out anywhere from 20 to 50 days a year. Do you know that we have clients in our program, been there for several years, that are doing over $2 million a year in gross production and they're working less than 110 days a year? Do the math on that one. But the other thing that we work on a lot is how to do that efficiently and effectively with low overhead. You see, these doctors doing two million, they're taking home eight or nine hundred thousand dollars of net income. Now, the question I ask for you is what would that do for you? You know, if you could increase your net, and our average is about hundred and fifty thousand dollars of increased net in that first year, what would that how would that impact your life? How would that impact the life of your family? You know, it allows you some choices, some different choices that you have. So at the summit, that's what we get accomplished. It's absolutely personalized to you. Now, after the summit, we prepare a written plan for you moving forward, really a to-do list. And then you have monthly coaching from one of our coaches. And right now, there are three of us. There's myself, my daughter, Christina Blatchford, who's also a dentist, Dr. Brad Brayman, who was a client, since he, can you believe this? Brad was a client since he was nine years old. No, not really. But he's been listening to Bill Blatchford since he was nine years old because his father was a client, his uncle was a client, Brad was a client. He decided to work with us. He's also picked up a MBA in healthcare administration. So Brad is truly doing this out of passion. So he's developing to a great coach. Then we have two seminars for you to come to during the year, which I do a majority of with your entire team. One of the things that we should cover with your team at the first seminar, which is called the Dynamo, is how did he differentiate patients? You see, it's not true that all patients are created equally. And you know this. As a matter of fact, you and your team right now could sit down and name your favorite patient, which is part of what we do. But we have a very good system to differentiate the patients. You see, we have determined that about 20% of your current patients provide you with about 80% of your income. We call those the top 20. Now, we have a group in the middle. It's the next 60% of your patients provide you with an additional 30%. And then we have the 20% at the bottom who actually cost you 10%. So we're going to help you and your team differentiate these people. Now, some people say, well, that's not really fair. All people are created equally. And I agree with that completely. But there are certain things that I have value for and other things I don't have much value for. So in those businesses, you see, I'm different. So we teach you some very effective systems, and that just happens to be one of them. Now, we cover all kinds of things at these seminars, but the main goal, different than so many seminars, is to get your team on board. Sure, we cover vision and purpose and goals and systems like scheduling and how to collect money and how to bill insurance and how to present dentistry. How do you turn them into a team? I mean, that's really what we get accomplished at our two seminars. And then a large part of what takes place as well is we send a consultant into your office. Now, these consultants that I have have all been with me from 15 to 20 years. And these are not newbies. These are not somebody that we brought in out of a dental office Uh, three weeks ago and put them out there on the road. No, these ladies have been with me forever. And they know my material and they work with your team individually, either by phone, internet, or in your office. And they come in and actually help put these systems in place. So there's a lot of accountability in this program. Now, we are asked, do you have a follow-up program? And the answer is, of course we do. It's called Connection. Connection is by invitation only. I've had clients stay with me. It's a very simple program. It's month to month. There is no contract. You want to stay in as long as you can. I've had clients stay in as long as 25 years. But with many of our clients stay in four or five years, it's simply a monthly contract, monthly contact with us, access to all of our programs, and it's called connection. So that in a nutshell is how our program works. But I think the bigger question is, what will it do for you? What would it do for your family? But what would You know, the most valuable commodity we all have, and the biggest shortage is not money. Money is, you know, my opinion is there's lots of money out there. But time is the limiting factor. And as I get older, I realize that time is way more valuable than money. It's way more valuable than money. And one of the things that that I can share with you is that, you know, 
that gets shorter and shorter. You know, looking back at my, looking at my life currently, I have to remember that the future is shorter than the past. However, I'm a big believer, and I actually believe my future is always bigger than my past. Maybe not longer, but bigger. And I want you to start thinking about that. What would an extra 40 days do for you? Where could you take your family on vacation? How would it work for your continuing education? So that's the biggest thing that we give you is time and increased income, which lowers the stress. But you know, I'm not concerned about stress. Let's just make it more fun.